Hi guys, and welcome to the fifth online webinar. Last week we covered online marketing, and so this week we're gonna turn our attention to offline marketing. We will cover why offline marketing is important, offline marketing channels to consider, and go through an example of how to pitch your ideas in real life. So, why should we even consider offline marketing? With everything online in this day and age, you may ask why would we even market our products offline? That's the thing, do you pay attention to every ad you see on Instagram, Facebook, or YouTube? Probably not, right? With the online marketing channels so oversaturated, it's important that we get our crowdfunds out on both online and offline marketing channels. In addition, many of your customers, especially the older ones, would prefer an authentic, in real life interaction over an online one. I can vouch for this myself. I was running a marketing campaign for a project at university. We spent $100 on Facebook ads and only got two sales with our budget. When we walked around in person and introduced our product and had a conversation with 10 people, we had a much higher success rate. There are a number of different offline channels to use to market your product. The first one is posters. All of you are such creative designers, so posters will be a low cost, easy and effective way to get your product out. You can ask permission to hang them up in your school or even the local area. A second offline marketing method is giving away branded items. This may be something as simple as printing out stickers with your logo on it. You can hand them out for free, let's say around school or in your local community, and before you know it, people will be advertising for you by putting your sticker on their pencil case, phone, or even on their t-shirt. Another potential way you can market your product is through events. For example, if your product was stress-reducing headphones, you could potentially market your product at a local sporting event by approaching them and asking if you can pitch your idea. An effective place to do this could be at a local assembly. It could be a great way to pitching your product to your target audience and getting more support for your crowdfund. Remember, people don't buy what you do, they buy why you do it. And this is why speeches and presentations are such a great marketing tool. They allow you a chance to get your personality across and vision to the audience. Over the next few weeks, you're gonna constantly have to pitch your crowdfund idea in real life. So we've developed a scaffold for you to go about doing your elevator pitches. Our, our crowdfunding scaffold has three simple sections. The first is, as you guessed it, why. What problem are you solving and why is it important to you? The next section is what. What is your product and how does it solve this problem? And the third and final step is a call to action. How can someone that just listened to your amazing product support your crowdfund? An example of this for our stress reducing headphones may be as follows. Our team is passionate about supporting youth mental health, in particular stress amongst our age demographic. In 2018 survey by Mission Australia, mental health was identified as the most important issue for young people. We are addressing youth mental health through these stress reduction headphones, which send alpha brain waves to relax the user, giving them a chance to unwind and de-stress. Even just 20 minutes of using our headphones can noticeably reduce stress among participants. We are currently launching a crowdfunding campaign to help fund us and create a prototype, prototype of our product. Would this be something you're interested in supporting? That concludes this week's seminar. This week we covered reasons to market your product offline, potential marketing channels, and went through a scaffold on how to pitch your crowdfund. Remember, it's as simple as why, what, and a call to action. Thanks guys, and see you next week.